So, we are going to go on a family vacation. And I'm going to have to pack Berlin stuff. Usually, when we're going on a family vacation, I like to pack for double the amount of days that we're going. So, this time, we're going to go for three days. So, I'm going to pack six to seven days worth of stuff. Probably ten days worth of stuff. Um, one is because you never know when an emergency might occur and you might have to stay longer. Another reason is because if something um, is not working properly, if something breaks, you want to make sure that you have extra and you have enough so that you don't run out. So I'm going to show you how I properly pack things for Braylon and I'm going to show you what I use. Now this bag right here, this is a sewing machine bag and I got this bag off of Amazon. As you can see, it has a lot of space and it comes with a lot of different compartments, okay? It has a lot more space than the tackle box that we was originally using. If you go back and look at some of our older videos, you will see when we went out of town that we was using a tackle box. This will fit everything that we need and more. And I'm going to show you how I pack this bag to make sure Brilla has everything that he needs for when we go on family vacations. So this is the tackle box that we used to use, okay? And it's spacious, but it just didn't have enough space. So like this, I like this much better. And actually, one of the moms in my trach mom group recommended it for me if you need the link look below in the comments and in the description and the link will be provided there for you okay all of these things come with us when we go out of town and we also want to make sure that we have enough stuff that we don't have to worry about running out um when we go out of town berlin does have to have trait care done he might need to use his feeding pump but usually he hasn't used his feeding pump because recently he's been just using his yeti cup but you know i'm just gonna pack all these things and i'm gonna show you guys how i do it so this is a water bag definitely need to take this water bag the water bag is used when we have him on the vent and this is connected to the humidifier and it provides humidification so i'm just gonna put that in the bottom this is a circuit you never know when we're out of town something may happen to his circuit uh, one time we was in town and a hole occurred in his circuit, so I had to change his circuit. Um, something else that may happen is the wires in the circuit, it may not be ca calibrated correctly to the vent, so you have to change the circuit out. So there's many reasons why you may be out of town and you may need to change the circuit. So this I'm going to put, and look how that fits. I mean, it just fits so good in there. Really, really good. Gloves. I'm going to take a box of gloves, okay? A whole box of gloves I'm taking. Um, these gloves usually stay in the car. And what I'm really thinking is this bag is a great go bag. And it's a great bag to stay in the car as well. But I'm going to put gloves in there, okay? And I'm looking through to make sure I have everything that I need to make sure I'm packing this thing accurately. So this is a bag. It has syringes, HME, and it also have these Q-tips to clean Brillin's trait. I'm going to put that to the side right there, okay? I have so many bags of things that I have to go through and put up to make sure everything is how it's supposed to be. I also need to go in the car to get something. This is what you call an ambu bag. This was in the car. I keep this in the car, but I wanted to go get it out the car so I can show you guys what it looks like. There should be one in the car, and there should also be one in the house. We have one in the car and two in the house, I believe. And um, I love having an extra one because there has been a time where the Ambu bag did not work, and I was bagging Braylon, and I had to do CPR mouth to trait. Um, in the hospital, they tell you not to do mouth to trait, but me doing mouth to trait basically saved Braylon's life. But this is one style of an Ambu bag, and this is another style of an ambu bag i'm going to pack these ambu bags okay this is for a bigger child i believe this is what they gave us when Braylon was discharged at the hospital they both work they both work they gonna do its job but i'm gonna pack this so that it goes with us when we need to go this is also Braylon's go bag or his trach bag i'm going to go through it to make sure everything is needed 
this usually stays packed and i never have had to use it for an emergency trait change while we are out but i'm going to double check to make sure everything is in here where's the obturator see i'm glad i'm going through this because there's no obturator in this bag this must be the bag that i took to the hospital and they did not give us back our obturator so i have an extra obturator and i'm going to pack an extra trait So it's very important to take multiple suction catheters with us because if this drops, touches the ground, it, it needs to be thrown in the trash. Um, if Braylon bites a hole in it, it needs to be thrown in the trash. So you want to make sure that you have extra suction catheters, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. I have five that I'm going to pack, okay? And I'm just going to check everything to make sure that I have enough of everything before I pack it. These are feed bags, one, two three four and i need to get two more most likely just to be on the safe side one two three four five six um another thing is when you're going out of town i recommend to check which hospitals is in the nearby area um, also take your own equipment, everything, especially like feed bags and stuff, because even though you may be at a hospital that specializes in pediatrics, not all pediatric hospitals use the same equipment. So it's highly recommended that you take all of your own stuff for your child because you never know what's going to happen that may, you know, you may have to get your child admitted and you want to make sure that your child has everything that they need so that they're comfortable and that they're used to having what they're used to having. So that's just my, my opinion. And, and it's, it's true. A lot of hospitals don't have the same protocols. They don't have the same treatment plans. They don't have the same equipment. So it's very important that you make sure that you have the equipment that you need for your child. These are pulse sensors. These go around Braylon's foot or around his toe. And it's really important that you have multiple of these, especially if your child is mobile. Braylon is mobile and he knows how to take these off his toes and off his feet. So I always bring multiple and there's different kinds. This one is the best one ever it lasts a long time because it has velcro on it and you can use it it's non-adhesive and you can use it over and over and over again so i really like this one but braylon's foot is outgrowing it his feet is getting so big but i'm going to make sure that i take multiple of these pulse sensors one two three four five six and take one of these as well this is really good if we're out in public and he's on his monitor and on his vent and this is going to give a really good accurate reading so now always me i always take extra oxygen uh what are these properly called oxygen hoses i just want to get the proper name uh oxygen tubing tubing for the oxygen um, and we also take oxygen tanks when we go out of town. We take this, a small one. I believe it's called like an A tank. It's about this big. And we take one that's a little bit bigger and that's unopened. So I do take multiple oxygen tanks when we go out of town. Usually two to three of them just in case he ends up not feeling well and he needs to be on oxygen. As soon as something happens like that, we're coming back home. But I always take oxygen just to be on the safe side. Uh, like I said, he has like the tank that's about this big and there's another one that's a little bit bigger. We just take those. But I will also take these two different size oxygen tubings. Okay, this one is, how much, how long is it? This one is 14, 14, so it's 6 millimeters or 14 inches. Or, no, this 14 feet, sorry. 14 feet for this one. And this one might be what? Seven feet. This one's seven feet. This one's 14 feet. So 
Because I take both of these to be on the safe side. While we're out of town, Berlin does require to still have trait care. So I do take extra trait ties. That's what these are properly called trait ties. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to get a seventh one just to be on the safe side. Seven. Oh, the seventh one was right here. <laughs> so these are feral bags. Brilla no longer needs this, so I'm not taking this. This is a waste of space. He don't need this, so this won't be coming with me. A little first aid kit and the thermometer comes with me, okay? In his diaper bag, he also has a bigger first aid kit that I will show you guys. So these are little suckies, and this is a, let me get the name, a yonker. This is perfect for suctioning out the mouth if he was, like, really secretioning it through the mouth. And this is for suctioning out the nose, and you can suction out the mouth with it. Um, I'm going to take two of these yonkers, okay? And I'm going to take this bag. It's about 10 of them and this little bag for the suction of the nose. It is cold and flu season, so to be on the safe side, I am going to take them okay these are saline bullets okay if Braylon was very secretiony very junky and had thick mucus or secretions i would use this and to be on the safe side i'm going to take 5 10 15 20 25 30 30 of them but i also keep extra in his trach bag and i also keep extra in his suction bag but i'm taking these to to have on standby you know if the ones in his suction bag and not running low if he doesn't have any more in his trach bag then i have some in his backup supplies bag so that i can always use them so that's right there this is the tubing for the suction machine so say something happened to the tubing that we have already on his suction machine. You want to make sure that you have this. So I'm going to take this as well. And you know what else I just remembered? I need to get a suction canister and I need to get a suction canister top. It's very important that I take that. I have been on a walk with Braylon and something happened to his suction canister. So anything can happen to anything. And you want to make sure you're prepared for everything. And I have... So you want to make sure you have enough stuff so if you have to change out anything, you can do that. This is going to come with me. And I'm also going to get a suction canister and the top to go to it. This the top to the suction canister. And then I'm going to get a suction canister. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me show you guys something. You can put stuff in here. That's not going to fit in there unless I open it and I don't want to open it. This is for Brillin's suction machine. So that's going to come with us. And so is this. This is important. This is for the oxygen tank. Say you lose one of these pieces. You can't even turn the oxygen tank on without it. So it's very important that you have this. This is a backup piece. I always take it with us when we go out of town. These are gauze. We use these gauze for trait care and G2 care and trait change care. So you want to make sure that you take gauzes with you as well. Okay, these are HMEs, and these are the Q-tips that I use to clean around Berlin's trach and G-tube. 
and then these are syringes so i'm going to pack these as well to go with us we have so much room and so much space so i have a lot of room to pack these I also take these little waters for like cleaning around Brilliant's tray, cleaning around Brilliant's YouTube or whatever I may need this sterile water for. So this sterile water comes with us. It's really important that you are aware of where everything is at. Since I'm like, brilliant, you know, main caregiver, I'm going to know where everything is at. I love this bag like everything is gonna fit and I'm very happy this is a filter okay these go at the end of the circuit and they connect to the circuit and they connect to the vent from the circuit so this is very important because it's a filter to make sure that you know that there's no dirty unfiltered things that they're breathing in from their vent that's gonna come these are also more pieces actually hold up this one don't come this bag comes sorry so this has the filter these has the vent filter another filter for the vent this has the blue Y piece for if i have to change Braylon's uh circuit out so this all of this is going to come I'm going to pack this bamboo bag inside of here. This one is going to stay out and going to be in the car, like out, just in case we are driving and Braylon needs it. But this is going to get packed in here. Oh. Well, actually, I don't have to put that in there. Still have so much more room. I love it. I'm going to come back to this front area. Actually, hold on. For Brilliant's diaper bag. I keep extra stuff in his diaper bag too, to be on the safe side. Then he even have water in his diaper bag too. Like I really pack to not play. <laughs> So 
but look at these pockets on the side. Look at this room I have, I have so much more room on the side. Look at it. This is like the perfect, perfect bag for traveling. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. I have room over here and I have room up here still. I have lots of room left. I love it. And I don't have that much more stuff to pack. I'm very happy with this bag. Very, very happy. I think that's... Is that everything? Wow, that is everything. Except for I need some more HMEs. That's right. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's nine of these types of HMEs. Okay, it's different types. Then I got a few of these. One, two, three, four. This is the HME that he usually uses when he's on the vent, but he's not connected to the, the heater or the heating chamber or the humidifier, you know? So I'm going to pack these HMEs as well. And you know what? I'm going to pack it right there. I love this bag. Yes. Like I have another pocket and I might put some more like first aid care stuff in there. My back hurts a little bit. Like I said, we're only going to be gone for three days. But to be on the safe side, I'm going to pack over. And this bag is going to be a bag that's always in the car. It's a perfect emergency bag. Perfect emergency bag. Wow. Wow. Just wow. I could fit more stuff in here. It's amazing. I love this bag. I still have room. Oh, wow. I still have room. I can fit more stuff in there. Wow. That's done. That bag is done. Wow. This is the ample bag that is going to be out and in the car. Okay? So that's what this bag is for. And now I have to pack his trick bag. There's a lot of packing going on for being a medical mom of a medically complex child. So this is his go bag, his trait bag, and I'm going to show you how I pack this. You know what also needs to go inside of this traveling bag? This is the charger for Braylon's vent. This is the car charger, okay? I'm going to put this in the side of this bag. That's why we have so much room. This is going to go in the side of this bag. Let me see, is that all the charger that I need? What is this? What kind of charger is this? Oh, you know what? I need this too. This is for, is this for Braylon's suction machine? Yes, this has to go with us too. These are backup chargers. I'm going to put them in this bag. That's packed up for our trip. Woohoo! Our trip and just going anywhere. Just anything. That's all packed up. That's all packed up. Everything's packed.